Hi, this is James, and I'm here with the Oracle Outlook for the week starting September the 19th, 2016. This week I'm doing a tarot card reading, and the deck that's assisting me for this week's reading is the Robin Wood Tarot. It is by Robin Wood and is published by Llewellyn. So I'm taking the deck in hand. I'm going to be shuffling the cards, and as I do for my weekly general readings, I'm setting the intention, asking for guidance, for insight, for information that's going to be helpful and useful to us as we move through the coming week. And as I'm shuffling the cards, I want to invite you to be a part of the process. So pay attention to any thoughts, feelings, or impressions you get about the cards as I'm talking about them. Because that will make the reading more of a personal experience for you. And then you can make it more relatable to where you are at in your life right now. So I'm feeling inclined to shuffle one more time. Cutting the deck. I'm going to fan the cards out. And I'm just looking for three cards that speak to me, that kind of call out to me. So I pick the cards. And the first card is going to be either something that we need to know for the beginning of the week as an experience, or something about the week overall in terms of a theme or energy. So the first card here is Judgment. So hold the card up. Judgment. So Judgment is a major arcana card. So major arcana cards for me carry more weight in a reading when they show up and they can represent important issues or events. Something that is designed for our spiritual growth and evolution because I tend to look at these cards as spiritual lessons, spiritual principles, and how we apply them to our lives through the experiences that we have. So Judgment is actually one of my favorite major arcana cards. So when Judgment comes up, and I'm going to go with more maybe of the theme of the week rather than just a personal experience, but Judgment can come up when we're being encouraged to adopt a new lease on life. Um, if you look at the image, there is a woman who is naked. So let's talk about that first. So the symbology of being naked for me represents that we are at a stage in our lives where we are becoming more of who we are. It's about standing in whatever our personal truth is, standing in our sense of authenticity. You know, the idea here of being naked means that um, what you see is what you get. I have nothing to hide, you know, and I'm okay. I'm okay with being who I am, and that's the biggest thing. Sometimes we are works in progress and so we are learning to be more okay with who we are as people and so judgment could be saying too there's an energy here that's coming in that's going to allow us to become more of who we are and to be okay with that the idea here is about you know exposure so it could be for somebody this week there may be um, feeling inclined to expose more of who they are and again that's the idea of your personal truth, expose more of who they are, either to themselves, sometimes that's the biggest challenge, exposing it to yourself first, before you can share that with the world. And that could be your world at large, you know, your own personal world, and then the bigger world. Because sometimes the judgment card for me, I'm seeing the image of a ripple effect, So, but sometimes you have to experience it first, and then let that energy ripple out. So I'm seeing that biggest thing here it's about like becoming more of who you are judgment going with the idea about a lease on life this is a card of a spiritual awakening so I know there are lots of people who are talking about waking up so this card is about waking up becoming more conscious there are lots of people who are talking about it you know um, this is a time of ascension for people so I'm seeing this as becoming more conscious you know waking up to who you are, and not just who you are, but what your purpose in the world is, because the judgment card is about life purpose, life mission, you know, your calling, whatever that is for you. It's about stepping into that. 
it's almost like a baptism of fire because I'm looking at her standing in a cauldron that's on fire. So again, it could be like there could be a person who is going to be experiencing a baptism by fire this week. Um, I'm looking again at the image and behind her is the phoenix. So for some people, this whole new lease on life is like, it's like a resurrection, if you will. It's like um, rising from the ashes and the phoenix rises from the ashes and it's stronger than it was as a result of having had that experience. So again, it, it could be again a sense of rising up. It could be a sense of awakening. It could be a rebirth. You're coming out of a situation that's making you stronger than you were before. I'm seeing that kind of energy. This card is um, a call from the universe because I tend to see this since I work with angels. I tend to see this as Archangel Gabriel first. When I used to, when I started with Tarot many years ago, I used to see this as Archangel Gabriel. And so sometimes that's about like you being called to rise up. You're being called to wake up. You're being called to take the decision or take the decisive actions to move beyond your physical limitations and restrictions. Whatever you feel like is limiting or restricting, you're being asked to rise above that this week. So I'm seeing that. The other angel that I have learned since then that I attach to this card is Archangel Jeremiah, one of my favorite archangels, because he resonates with the judgment card in this way. He's all about working with the idea of doing what's called a life review. So you may be at a place in life, if, especially if you're trying to adopt a new lease on life and going forward from that place, this is a time for you to do an evaluation process. And with that, you're being asked to be very honest with yourself. Again, she's naked on the card. So it's about you being very honest with yourself about going forward. So that is the energy of judgment. Again, it's about waking up. So this is a great time of spiritual awakening. It's about adopting a new lease on life and then what steps do you need to take to move in that new direction? And then getting guidance, asking guidance from spirit, you know, what do you need to know? What do you need to do? And then taking action on that guidance. So I'm seeing that it could also be about just being in a place of evaluating things and needing to do a life review that's going to help you move forward. And then for some of us, the whole idea about waking up could be waking up to a greater sense of like, what's my purpose? What's my mission? How can I get about the business of doing that work? So that's judgment. Card for the middle of the week is the Five of Cups. So now this is, I'm seeing a different direction now with this card. So the Five of Cups can be what I call the disappointment card. So it could be some of the things that we're being asked to do, maybe in this process of evalu evaluating and being honest with yourself, could be about you seeing that you've been holding on to a situation emotionally that's been causing you a lot of pain because this card can be about grief and mourning and suffering. So you may be you know, going through a grief process or mourning a loss. The three cups that are spilled on the card represent something that you've lost and you can't get back. And, and the person on the card is actually looking at that, that sense of loss and, and getting wrapped up in that. So it could be about like um, seeing how you can move beyond that if you can this week. Um, but also to like, what is it that you were hoping to get out of that situation that you didn't get? Uh, and then maybe considering like, what do you still have left? Because there are two cups behind the person, if the person would just shift his or her focus and look that way. So it's about this week we're being asked to make a pivot. And so if you're being, you know, if you take the time and energy to do that life review, take um, um, your life into a, uh, into a greater review and then seeing if you're hanging on to any regret or remorse about maybe past decisions that you've made. And if that's the case, then the judgment card, and again, I'm seeing Archangel Jeremiah still, then it's about how can you become more forgiving? You could ask yourself, who do I need to forgive in this? Do I need to forgive someone else? Do I need to forgive myself? And sometimes we get hung up on the idea of like, I can forgive somebody else, but then I have a hard time forgiving myself. And especially if you're hanging on to past decisions in which you feel you didn't get what you expected, then it could be like you need to do some forgiveness work around yourself because you're keeping yourself stuck in that. You're keeping yourself mired in that. 
You know, and if it's about other people, then this card can come up sometimes when we maybe have expected other people to be something other than who they were. Going back to the judgment card, and it's about being authentic and about being who you are. Sometimes we place expectations on people and they can't fulfill them. They can't meet up to those expectations because they're either one or two things. Either they're not abled, they're not able to, or they're just not willing to. And so sometimes we need to let go of the expectations that we place on other people. So it could be twofold this week. Number one, have you been placing expectations on other people or an environment or a circumstance that hasn't met up to those expectations and you may need to let that go? Or have you been placing some unrealistic expectations on yourself and maybe about where you are in life? Maybe you're looking at it from like you expected to be someplace other than where you are. And then the first step would be forgiving yourself for believing that where you are right now is not where you're supposed to be. So I'm seeing that with the energy of the Five of Cups. It's about working through our sense of disappointment. If you are actually mourning and grieving a loss, then with the Judgment card, I'm seeing that as considering working with the angel, the Archangel, Azrael, because the Archangel, Azrael, can help us when we're experiencing loss and we're in a place of grief and suffering from that loss, grief, suffering, and mourning. So consider that if that is where you're at. I'm a big believer in first honoring where you're at. You know, and part of the truth could be, you know, you actually acknowledging your feelings, you know, and if your feelings aren't, you know, you're not feeling very Pollyanna in the moment, you're not feeling like everything is all sunshine and light and rainbows and peaches and cream, that's okay. The first step is to actually accept where you are emotionally and tell yourself that's okay. And not thinking that you you should be somewhere else. And giving yourself what I call the, the bypass. Sometimes in spiritual circles, we are so quick to get over a challenging experience. And I call that doing a bypass. And so allow yourself to feel what it is you're feeling and saying that's okay. But at the same point in time, don't dwell there. Don't mire yourself in that. Don't wallow in that. You know, give yourself a period of time. But then also say after some time, I need to be able to move on. I need to be able to shift my focus. Moving to the end of the week. We have the King of Wands. So this is very interesting. Okay, so now here with this card, we have what I call an approach. So we're being asked to adopt a personal approach. It could be like if you take the time to do the inventory, if you take the time to do the life review of judgment, and you work through the sense of the disappointment or, you know, putting expectations in either yourself or people that um, maybe were unrealistic or that haven't been met yet. And you work through the idea of letting that go to saying, OK, enough's enough. I need to move beyond this. I need to find a way to move beyond this. Then the king of wands can be the energy of coming into a greater sense of power. Kings for me, represent power, control, and represents maturity. Now, remember, started with the judgment card. It's about coming into a greater sense of consciousness. So here we have at the end of the week that we've moved into or we've now come into a greater sense of power. We've come into a greater sense of personal control. We come into a greater sense of maturity. And then as a result of that, the wands part of the card can be about like looking at yourself in a different way because wands for me can be about our personal image and our public image. It's about not just our image, but our identity, about who we are. So by the end of the week, we're becoming more in touch with that greater sense of who we are becoming. This card says that we all are, um, we can be works in progress and working to become better and striving to become more perfect, but we are also masterpieces. So this card can suggest how can you tap into more of the masterpiece that you are already. You know, the other thing here with wands, wands is about passion. So it's about becoming more passionate about life. So if you're adopting a new lease on life and you're being moved into a new direction, it's because it's going to inspire you. It's going to increase your level of passion, enthusiasm, zest, and zeal for life. So I'm going to end the reading on that note. So this has been the Oracle Outlook for the week. I am James Tim Mitchell, and as I sign off, I want to first thank you for sharing this space here with me this week, and I look forward to sharing the same space here again with you next week. 
And until then, I'm wishing you a wonderful day. I'm hoping you have a tarotastic week. And until we get together again in the future, take care.